Welcome, New Hope, to day number nine in our focus on prayer and fasting. And today I want to bring our focus and attention to the idea of thankfulness. Many of the songs in our worship repertoire uh, contain the idea of thankfulness. Hymns like Count Your Blessings and Great Is Thy Faithfulness, as well as choruses like Thank You, Jesus, and Goodness of God. This is for good reason, of course. The concept of thankfulness is a gift to us from the Lord. In fact, research now highlights the benefits of practicing thankfulness and gratitude. In the article from Harvard Health, published on August 14, 2021, entitled Giving Thanks Can Make You Happier, the author posits this, quote, Gratitude is strongly and consistently associated with greater happiness. Gratitude helps people feel more positive emotions, relish good experiences, improve their health, deal with adversity, and build strong relationships, end quote. We are designed by a creator who truly understands our need to be thankful, to live with hearts of gratitude. Psalm 100 directs us to shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with jubilation. Come before him with rejoicing. Know that the Lord himself is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courtyards with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness is to all generations. Both the Old Testament and the New Testament teach us to be thankful, to worship God for who he is and for what he has done for us. In the Old Testament, we see the Hebrew words yada and toda. These words describe the types of praise that source from a place of thankfulness. Defined, yada means to willfully throw up your hands to praise with power. Defined, toda means to lift our hands in thanksgiving for future events that are yet to be seen. In the New Testament, the Greek word eucharisteo comes right out of the Gospel of Luke. In chapter 22, verse 19, it says, And he took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them. This, of course, is speaking of Jesus at the Last Supper with his disciples. In the Greek language, he gave thanks reads eucharisteo. This word comes from the root word charis, meaning grace. Also, the Greek derivative, kera, meaning joy. Jesus took the bread, understanding that it represented grace, and with joy gave thanks for the gift. Eucharisteo, grace, thanksgiving, joy. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18 reads, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do you see a theme here? From a place of thanksgiving, we can find joy and respond with thankfulness for the grace that he has shown us. Church, I believe that as we gain a deeper understanding of God, we have the capacity to praise him more extravagantly, to thank him more affectionately, to worship him more intimately, Church, as we gather in a couple days, seeking something new from the Lord, let us come together with thankful hearts, understanding the grace that we have been shown. Let us come with joyful hearts, prepared to offer him ourselves completely. Can I pray with you? Lord Jesus, I thank you for all that you have done here at New Hope and for what you have yet in store for us. God, I ask that that you would bring us together this week of Fresh Wind Services to learn together, to grow together, Lord, and to praise you with abandon together. We ask, Lord, that you would direct us, that you would help us to come with thankful hearts so that we can respond to you accordingly. Have your way, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. New Hope, I'm looking forward to seeing you this coming week. Just uh, excited to see what God has in store. God bless you. We'll see you Sunday.